Hi, this is Tony Ling. Uh, welcome to my video. And in today's video, I'm going to uh, take you through a medical study by a professor in Harvard University. And his uh, study's title is Increases in COVID-19 are unrelated to level of vaccination across 68 countries and the 2,947 counties in the United States. So without further ado, uh, let us uh, jump in to this medical study and I'll take you to the some of the detail. I'll include the link for you so uh, you can always uh, go through this uh, study by yourself. And uh, this is uh, from the uh, NIH. Uh, check, take a look. Uh, this study is from posted on NIH.gov domain. Uh, this is uh, from the legit website from uh, National Institute of Health. So uh, this is uh, definitely uh, not from the conspiracy theory website. And uh, uh, let me show you the title uh, I already mentioned earlier. So here it says increases in COVID-19 are unrelated to level of vaccination across 68 countries and 2,947 counties in the United States. I'm just reading word by word. So, and... Uh, let me take a look of the other. Uh, other is SV uh, Subramanian. And if you look up uh, SV Subramanian, uh, uh, this, is, uh, this website is from Harvard EDU. Uh, this is uh, his profile on Harvard ED, B, EDU. And uh, who is him? Professor of Population Health and Geography. S.V. Subramanian uh, is a professor uh, in Harvard University. So uh, let us continue to look at this uh, study. So uh, in this study, what was the method they used? Uh, we used the COVID-19 data provided by the Our World in Data. So our word in data, actually I use a, a lot of my video also use the data in our word in data. Yeah. So for cross country analysis, available as of uh, September 3rd, 2021. Uh, we included 68 countries that met the following criteria had a second dose of vaccine data available, had COVID-19 cases data available, had population data available, and the last update of the data was within three days prior to or on September 3rd, 2021. So uh, 68 countries is a lot of uh, countries. If you think the total countries in this world is 195. So 68 countries uh, is uh, one third of the total countries in this world. So uh, they use uh, a large amount of data. Then uh, for the county level analysis in the United States, uh, we utilize uh, the White House COVID-19 teams data. So a uh, White House COVID-19 team data are uh, definitely uh, not from the conspiracy theory website, okay? Uh, so vaccine worshiper, uh, if you want to accuse uh, this professor use the wrong data, uh, take a look. This is all, these are all the, uh, our word in data and the uh, White House COVID-19 team data. They are legit uh, data source. So available as of September 2nd, 2021. 
We excluded counties that did not report fully vaccinated population percentage data, yielding 2,947 country counties for the analysis. So, yeah, they are 29,000 counties for the analysis. I think uh, that's uh, pretty much represent most American because if you take a look, how many counties in the United States? Uh, if you uh, look up Google, the United States total included 3,006 counties. So 29,000, that's uh, most of the, uh, represent the most of the America. So you can see they use a large amount of data. So now uh, let us uh, look at the finding of this study. So here it says, at the country level, there appears to be no discernible relationship between the percentage of population fully vaccinated and the new COVID-19 cases in the last seven days. Okay, figure number one. Let me show you the figure number one. So this is the figure number one. So you can see the left hand side is uh, cases per 1 million people uh, last seven days. So the higher the value means the higher the cases. The lower the value uh, means uh, the lower the cases. So it starts from 0 to 6,000. And uh, the bottom is population fully vaccinated percentage uh, from left to right. Uh, left is a zero percent fully vaccinated. The right hand side is one hundred percent fully vaccinated, and you can see the uh, dots are distribution for these uh, sixty eight countries, and you can see a trend line here, uh, trend line. You can clearly see this trend line. The higher the vaccination rate, the higher the cases. You can see, actually, you, I can read for you here. In fact, the trend line suggests a marginally positive association such that countries with higher percentage of population fully vaccinated have higher COVID-19 cases per million people. I'm not going to do any uh, my own explanation. I'm just the read the writing uh, from this uh, uni professor in the Harvard University. So if you are a vaccine worshiper and uh, you don't believe uh, this uh, uh, study from the Harvard professor, uh, please uh, uh, and leave the comment below. Uh, let me know what what kind of uh, mistake uh, these Harvard professor made, and uh, let also let me know, uh, uh, because you think uh, you think uh, you are smarter than this Harvard professor, and let me know, uh, where did you get your medical degree, and uh, where did you graduate it from. So, uh, let us continue to uh, for the uh, U.S. finding. Here, uh, let me keep reading for you. Across the U.S. counties too, the median new COVID-19 cases per uh, 100,000 people in the last seven days is largest similar across the category of a percent uh, population fully vaccinated. Notably, there is also substantial counties uh, variation in new COVID-19 cases within the categories of a percentage population fully vaccinated. There is also appear to be no significant signals of COVID-19 cases decreasing with higher percentage of population fully vaccinated. So yeah, you heard it. I just read this study for you. Uh, I'm not going to do any my own explanation because otherwise uh, you vaccine worshiper will think uh, I'm uh, uh, adding my own word uh, trying to uh, present you 
the misinformation. I just read word by word in this study and show you the uh, finding from the uh, professor from Harvard University. Uh, hopefully uh, by sharing uh, this uh, study with you and uh, uh, you Vasin worshiper can wake up from this uh, uh, blind face and uh, uh, please uh, do not uh, uh, believe uh, that the vaccine is the one and only savior in this uh, pandemic and if you are not a vaccine worshiper uh, please uh, help me and help share the uh, true information to these uh, vaccine worshippers so they can wake up uh, from their uh, faith, blind face and uh, look at the uh, uh, otherwise uh, uh, the mainstream media will keep uh, uh, sharing the medical misinformation and uh, uh, they will keep uh, believe the vaccine is the only savior in this uh, pandemic. So please help me share this video and share this uh, uh, study to more vaccine worshiper. And uh, uh, if we work together, and I believe uh, we can uh, change uh, this world. And, uh, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.